So the first part of using Drone Deploy is doing a flight. <clears throat> Here's a project where we did a number of flights. This is at uh, Mather Air Force Base. This is the old um, nuclear armament <laughs> depot. This is where they had the nuclear bombs that they would load onto the B-52s if they needed them. And uh, we worked with a an architect whose job was to come up with a use for this area. It was uh, about a 15 to 20 acre uh, sort of um, environmental campus proposal. All around this, Mather was... Um, uh, going to allow a very large development and they needed a set aside so this is where the architect was looking at and so we flew this one we flew a whole bunch of different versions of it uh, as part of our as part of our practice but this Mather low altitude was a good one so we're not going to go into how to set up to run a flight but these are the results you can see the flight area if I uh, escape out of that just for a sec. Um, let me go back. And I look at um, the explore on it. Or the fly. You can see that we set up to fly a certain area. And we did an explore. And... Um, and we just we actually did this so we have this map and we can we can do some cool things with it uh, if I zoom in on it you can see the detail that we can see the, that's awfully good detail being able to see from we flew this at I think uh, maybe two or three hundred feet you can see the logs that were there. Uh, this guy collects big logs and inside of one of these there's these huge saws. And so people would bring big, big wood to him to be cut. So that was the area that was flown and you could see we got some stuff out of it. We can measure things. And if we look at this measurement, it'll even tell us. Let me see if I can click on that measurement again. I know I can get it. There we go. I can click on that distance. And look, it tells me as I move along, it tells me the elevation. Pretty cool. Kind of, Kind of a neat. A neat tool and I can find areas let me um, go back and do an area one two four and it tells me the area I think that's it right there Yeah, it gives me the acres and all that kind of stuff. And I can find volumes and, st and I can count things. It's pretty, it's pretty amazing what you can do with this. But I'm going to look at the 3D model for a moment. Look what we can see. I know this is, don't worry about that. We had a couple little spots that didn't come in properly. But you can see there's that area that we were just looking at. Here it is in 3D. And look at the detail that we can see. Pretty impressive of what we can do. And so our goal on this project was to provide a Revit backdrop for the for the architect with uh, an actual 3D site that they could take a look at. Now it's real interesting. This little channel here follows some underground piping 
where it settled a little bit. Everything on here is like super, super level. Uh, but it got packed and compacted so much during grading that nothing drains. So this little area right in here becomes a vernal pool. Which is kind of another neat, neat thing. So, um, so I'm going to, I'm going to take a look. I didn't export. Uh, I thought I didn't export of this one. Maybe I'm on a different one. Let, let me just see. I'm going to go back to the Mather projects and just see if maybe I did. Oh, maybe it's this one that. I did that gave me the export that gave me a little bit better one now that's the one that has a piece missing out of it there we go there's the full one that 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 worked a little bit better so you can see where we flew and all that kind of it's the same one but that little piece wasn't missing out of it okay and I can go to the model and just see some really really incredible stuff so this was our low altitude flight which I believe was at 100 feet and you can see all sorts of huh, pretty incredible stuff so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do an export and I'm going to do an elevation export and I'm going to ask as and I've already done it. See, I've got this contour DXF already already done, but you can see I can get a geo tiff, a raw elevation, a contour, a shape file. I can get all sorts of things, but I've gotten this one and my elevation markers are one. So I'm going to go to that and here it is. I've got it. So that's going to have a DXF inside of it. So that's drone deploy and how we use it. So all sorts of different, different, just amazing set of things that you can get out of it. You can get a plant health. Look, that's an NDVI, I think, GeoTIFF, JPEG, da, da, da. But basically, it lets you know where it's red, there's more health than where it's a red, worse health than where it's green. Um, 20 inch per pixel. Look, I can get it down to 0.8 inch per pixel. Um, so there we go. So that's the essence of drone deploy. And what we'll do is we'll get you on here and let you explore with it uh, through me. I'll... I'll um, help you operate it. I'll do what you asked me to do. And we'll, we'll get this file. And then I'll show you what to do with that file in another, <laughs> excuse me, in another video. So that's drone deploy. And some of the wide range of things that you can get out of it.